Now police making a deadly discovery at a hotel on Miami Beach. A woman is found dead in a room there. Now a murder investigation is underway. Local 10 News supporter Joseph Ojo is live at the scene. And I know, Joseph, you have the latest details for us. And Christy, detectives are continuing to work possible leads in this murder investigation. Police actually came to this hotel here on Miami Beach for a welfare check after a woman was last seen on the weekend. And when they arrived, they found her dead inside. Police now trying to figure out why this death happened and who was behind it. Around 1030 Wednesday morning, the body of a woman murdered on Miami Beach being taken away by the medical examiner's office. Since Tuesday afternoon, witnesses described several police outside this oceanfront hotel along Collins Avenue near 65th Street. It was probably about 10 o'clock last night. It was all blocked off and a whole lot of police activity, and I was just wondering what was going on. Desiree Arnold says she was shocked to find out that police are investigating a homicide because pilots and flight attendants are said to normally stay at this hotel. We're here on vacation, and we're like four hotels away, so now I'm like, okay, are we safe? Miami Beach police tell us Tuesday, just before 7 p.m., they got a call from a woman requesting a welfare check for her co-worker who was last seen on Saturday, December 3rd. And when officers arrived, they found the woman dead inside of a hotel room. Investigators could be seen working the scene well into Wednesday morning as they search for the person behind this terrible crime. Whoever it is, my heart just go out to the family. Once they find out that their loved one has passed away in a hotel or been killed in a hotel. So at this time, no statement from the hotel, but Miami Beach police are urging anyone that has any information on what might have happened in this hotel to give Miami Dade Crime Stoppers a call at number 305-471-TIPS. We're here on Miami Beach. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.